I'm Holly, and today I'm chatting to Nike athlete Sarah Reinertsen about the all-new Nike Metcon 6 Flyies. Sarah is an American Paralympian and has been key in trialing and testing the Flyies innovation during its introduction to the Metcon range. Hello, I'm joined today by Sarah Reinertsen. Sarah is a hugely accomplished athlete, having competed as a track Olympian for Team USA before going on to become the first ever female leg amputee to complete the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii. Sarah, you've also completed numerous marathons around the world, breaking the above the knee world record several times, and have also run the famed 10K route along the Great Wall of China. The accomplishments and achievements are truly incredible and what some people along the way have called crazy as was documented in the inspiring Nike campaign that you starred in called A Crazy Dream. First a proud Nike athlete and now part of the team at Nike working on the development and innovation of the Flyies technology which we at WIT are hugely excited to see has now been introduced to the Metcom range. Sarah it's an absolute pleasure to talk with you today and we are going to be speaking a little bit about this Metcon 6 Flyies. So to kick things off, could you just tell us a little bit more about how you started working with Nike? Sure. I think, you know, my first entry into the Nike world was as an athlete. I was assigned Nike athlete in 2007 and started working with the team just as an athlete looking for ways to help innovate for my sport, trying to find ways to get better. Um, and so I uh, got to work with the innovation team on some sole technology for my prosthetic and also the early flyies technology that we saw that we see in the Pegasus. Um, as a triathlete, I was always looking at ways to put on my shoes faster. And so that was really my entry point. Um, and then when I was getting ready to retire, um, this whole Flyies uh, collection started uh, to grow bigger and they were building a team. And I was uh, lucky enough to join the innovation team, the Universal Ease team that works on the Flyies collection. Amazing. And for those that are watching and aren't 100% sure, what actually is Flyies technology? Sure. So the Flyies technology, it's actually a, an innovation platform that we have at Nike, and we have several different technologies in that, but it's basically an alternative lacing system. And in order for it to be Flyies, it has to be easy to get in and out of the shoe. It has to be easy to um, secure the shoe to like, um, and then it also has to have some adjustability. And so mm -hmm. we've seen this Flyies technology. We started in basketball you know, changing the way that you could get into a basketball shoe. Then we went into um, running technology, then into sportswear. And, and, and now I'm thrilled to be talking to you today about our first ever flyies in the training category. Amazing. Um, so the Metcon 6 um, is already an incredibly innovative shoe in its own right. I mean, the number itself, as you can tell, it's adapted and evolved with the sport of training over the years to this sixth iteration. So what is so different about the Metcon 6 flies? Well, in some ways, it's not that different. It's got <laughs> the same elements that you come to know and expect in a Metcon. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you look at that stability, when you look for that reinforced rubber that you can use on rope climbs and high intensity yeah. workouts, like all of those elements, we kept the same. Um, we just say that we improved it by making it easier to get in and go. Um, we really yeah. just add, by adding this um, crushable heel technology, you can slide into the shoe, just tie it once, get in and go. I mean, it's sort of when you want to do a workout, we want to take the hassle factor out. You just want to get in and go. But also too, um, you know, we were, I, I went to some CrossFit competitions. We watched athletes, uh, you know, in some of those competitions, they're actually changing their shoes in the middle of yeah. the event, you know? And so as a triathlete, I also, I related to that, like obsessing over mm -hmm. this, you know, so if you can improve how you put on your shoes and save time there, it's a lot easier to do that then sometimes the repetitions you need to make to get those performance enhancements, like this is an easy way to improve your time. And so we just, we feel like we've taken the Metcon and just improved it by adding an easy um, entry um, to the shoe. So it's got the very same elements. We've improved it with an, um, a more breathable mesh 
um, so it keeps you cooler, but it still has that reinforced mesh, that reinforced rubber, um, still gives you that ultra firm stability uh, that you expect when you're doing squats and so forth. Um, but yeah, we just think it's improved so you can get in and go quicker. Amazing. So all those developments from the, the five to the six, like you mentioned, the increased breathability, um, that's all exactly the same, which is, is great. But there's obviously this added addition of, of speed and ease, which is, is fantastic. So obviously you mentioned that you, you're working on the innovation and development of these shoes. Just out of interest, how long did it take to integrate the Flyleaf technology into the Metcon and really get it right? And what was that testing process like? You know, we go through a lot of different iterations and sometimes we don't always just do things like in a vacuum. We're looking at this type of technology for this shoe, but we use something similar in our sportswear. So we're also testing these technologies across platforms and then trying it. We might have to put it in the Metcon, but we might have to make this um, heel piece maybe a little thinner, but still has that same um, mechanical reaction, right? The way you can still step yeah. in. So it's hard to say, like it's, you know, a lot of times we're looking at a lot of different systems. So it can take um, quite a while. And sometimes these are things we've tried and then we revisit them again. So yeah. it's hard to put a solid number on it, but we're always innovating. We're always obsessing. We're always, you know, and we're always looking at the future. It's like, I get to talk to you today, but I also know that like we're still cooking things in our innovation kitchen space. You know, we've got some um, really cool things that are still in the future pipeline. So, um, so it's quite ex exciting. We, you know, we're, we're never, we're always questioning, always improving. And I think that comes from, you know, this natural thing of being athletes. We have the same sort of sense of performance. We always want to improve in our sport. Yeah. We obsess the same in our innovation. Amazing. And so obviously you mentioned your triathlete uh, training and, and the use of the Flyease Pegasus, for instance. And um, were you actually testing the Metcon yourself in terms of gym-based functional training and, and what sort of did that look like for you? Yeah, you know, um, as a multi-sport athlete, I call myself a triathlete, but I really consider myself a multi-sport athlete. And I think a lot of crossfitters and cross trainers, that's what they are, they're multi-sport athletes too. So, you know, I, I do wear the Metcon. I use it in a cross training atmosphere. I even find it's actually even more important is to like the biggest gains you can make is in those, those weight exercises and really powering up your body and building that muscle to be more explosive and powerful. So, you know, mm -hmm. this is just an extension of my training. Um, and so the Metcon helps when I'm doing those same sorts of classes or um, cross training, squats, that kind of thing. Um, so it's a great shoe for that reason. Yeah. Um, but I really, I've used the Flyees on a lot of different platforms, you know, coming from a triathlon where I'm going from the swim to the bike to the run, um, you know, again, using that Flyees technology, this was just a zipper, but I could just slide in and then just one zip and go. Yeah. And I could get my transition times down to, you know, a minute instead of taking, you know, two or three minutes. Um, so you can really, you know, those are the types of gains. Um, that you know we see, and we've also made improvements in our soccer cleat. Like just to kind of show you what we talk about. Like this is a new um, soccer cleat, so it's a heel entry. You know, these are the types of things we're looking at, not just in triathlon and in running, but in training um, and in football or soccer, as we say in the U.S. Um, but we're looking at all types of sport and how we can remove those barriers to entry. Um, yeah get you in your shoes and go on as quick as you can. Amazing. So obviously, as you mentioned there, removing those barriers to entry is, is one of the great benefits of the fly ease. But I think one of the questions, particularly for a lot of people in the training space, Metcon wearers, et cetera, will be wondering, is this shoe for everyone? So what's your take on that? So we have, we call ourselves the universal ease team. So we um, lean into the, ideals of universal design principles. So mm -hmm. in universal design, you might design for the most extreme needs, but you're designing for all. So, yeah. um, you know, although we use the adaptive athlete as our muse, who might have the most difficult time getting on shoes, if you don't have hands or you have one hand, can I make a shoe easier for you to put on with one hand or no hands? Well, if I can do mm -hmm. that for you, well, I can lock, unlock for anybody. And who doesn't want an easier way to put on their shoes? You know, yeah. I think 
shoelaces are kind of old technology. So there's got to be an easier way for us to like secure our shoes. Um, and so that's, that's really where we lean into. So we might use our adaptive athlete as a muse, but we're designing shoes for all, for everybody. Yeah. And like you said, those small measures, you know, making transitions mid-workout, taking off your lifters, getting straight into your Metcon, every second counts. And I think a lot of people can relate to a broken down heel on a shoe where they've just shoved their foot in because they're trying to make that ease themselves and they're trying to force it. Whereas now the shoe is able to actually support that psyche. We, the, that's what we observed. We're really trying to lean into human behavior as well. We knew so mm -hmm. many people would come into our innovation space where they have crushed the heel to oblivion because they were just trying to crush and go. And so we were like, well, let's, let's create something that like, leans into that behavior that they're already doing. So I love, you know, I love that you've called that out because that's exactly what we were designing for people who want to crush their heels and go. Um, so cool. Amazing. So there you have it. That is a great insight into not only the Flyers innovation team and the work you're doing across, like you said, basketball, um, streetwear, running, et cetera, but now the arrival of Flyers in training in the Metcon range and a very, very welcome addition. And you can now shop the Metcon flyies in multiple colorways across WIT worldwide. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today. It was such a pleasure. And stay tuned to find out even more about the latest Nike releases at WIT.